welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Tanya and I am a integrative nutrition health coach and I've just started doing a 30 day keto challenge. So today I wanted to do a keto haul and it's going to have a lot of the basic keto items that I want to include in my like my 30 days. So if you're not familiar with Nutra Market, they're an online shop uh, based out of Canada which allows us Canadians to grab a lot of the brands that are not available in stores, most of them being from the US. And some of them are more like luxury products that you don't actually need on this keto diet, but it may be helpful. Uh, so I decided to grab kind of a mix between luxury products and then some of my, again, basic staples that I'll be using almost every day. All right, so let's get into the items. I'm really excited. So many good foods in here. So starting off, let's go with oils um, because as we know, on a ketogenic diet, you are eating 75% of your calories from fat. So oils and healthy oils, of course, um, where I'm avoiding anything that is polyunsaturated oils, which is the typical vegetable oils like the canola oil, sunflower seed, safflower, soybean oil. Um, so instead I'm sticking with these oil. So the first one is avocado oil. I absolutely love avocado oil for uh, salads mainly. So I used to put olive oil on my salads, but I switched to avocado and I think it tastes even better. So this one by the brand Chosen Foods, really like and this is something that you can grab on your market. The second oil that I use a ton is some olive oil. So this for example is a brand that we don't have here in Canada, but I've heard a, a bunch of great things about it. Um, it's an organic extra virgin olive oil, so I'm very, very excited to try this by the brand Cassandrinos. When it comes to the keto diet, it's actually encouraged to have a butter, which is not usually something you hear on a specific diet. Um, in my case, I'm trying to avoid uh, just regular butter, or if I am, I'm definitely having some grass-fed butter. But what's even better than butter is a ghee. So ghee is essentially butter that's been uh, boiled and then the milk solids have been separated from the fat. So what ghee is, is essentially just the fat part. Um, so anyone that's intolerant to dairy, you may be able to tolerate ghee a little bit more. I know that's the case for myself. I am intolerant to cow's milk products. Um, so yeah, I tried to go for a ghee that's grass fed. Um, and yeah, this was a brand that I really wanted to try from Kusha. So these are my oils and fats that I would be cooking with. Alright, so on the subject of dairy, let's move on to milk. So as much as you could technically have some high fat, like a, just a full fat milk, I won't be doing that because again I am dairy intolerant. So instead I picked up two of my favorite milks. So one is uh, just like full fat coconut milk. So this stuff is really, really good for cooking. So if you're doing like a curry or any like type of sauces, last night we made a chicken alfredo type of like recipe um, and it had coconut milk in there to kind of thicken everything up. So I really like a coconut milk. Um, when you're on the keto diet, don't be afraid to get full fat. You definitely want to try to get as much fat as possible and um, this is a great way to do it. Another great option is a nut milk that you can use um, just for almost anything, like if you're going to do a smoothie or a chia seed pudding, um, to put in your coffee. So I picked up this brand, very excited to try this one. I love macadamia nuts. So I was very excited to finally try the brand Milkadamia. So yeah, we got the, I got the vanilla unsweetened one. And I'm very, very excited to try this. It's, of course, dairy, soy, GMO, and gluten-free. Um, aside from that, also just like a, a simple almond milk that I can show you guys in the fridge. Um, something like this is also really good, so it doesn't have to be macadamia. Any type of nut milk will be a great alternative to cow's milk if you're avoiding it or if you're intolerant to it. All right, next up are probably my favorite item to eat on a keto diet, or up there anyways for sure, and that is mayo. I absolutely love mayo. I love getting the ones from the Primal Kitchen brand. 
The same brand that comes this avocado oil also does mayo and it's also a really good one. So either Chosen Foods or Primal Kitchen and you can get avocado oil mayo. So if you're getting mayo just at the store, it's most likely made out of canola oil. If it's claiming to be like a healthier option, it's probably made out of soybean oil. Both of those oils are highly oxidized. So I'd rather stick with something like avocado oil. Um, the ingredients here are super clean. It's just avocado oil, cage-free eggs, um, egg yolks, vinegar, sea salt, rosemary extract, and that is it. And this time I also grabbed the garlic aioli one. So I'm, I haven't tried this one yet, so super excited to try that. Our next up is condiments. So I think once you start getting a little bit bored of your typical, your just your standard keto foods, I think what's really going to help here is having some good condiments to jazz things up. So I just picked up some basics. So ketchup, you can't go wrong with a sugar free ketchup. This is also by the brand Primal Kitchen, um, it's just yeah, an organic unsweetened ketchup. It's also paleo friendly, Whole30 approved, um, the ingredients are really clean. So I really like this brand and I had it the other day and it tasted just like regular ketchup to me. So definitely sticking with this one. I would usually also grab some mustard, but I have two types of mustards in the fridge. I didn't need any at this time, but there's also some from the Primal Kitchen brand, or there's a few options on the side, or you can just get it at your local grocery store. Okay, another product in the condiment category is this yellow Thai coconut curry sauce. Um, I This is my second time ordering this one. The first time I ordered it, I, I just put it on everything. That's how good it is. Even with things that you think would, wouldn't go well with curry, this is delicious on it. And depending on how much you put, if you only put a tiny bit, it just kind of gives it a nice kick, um, a little bit of flavor, and if you put more, then it's more like a curry. So I definitely made sure to grab more of that, because if I'm just having a basic dinner, some kind of meat, some protein, um, some vegetables, maybe some cauliflower rice, I'll definitely add that on there to give it some flavor. Alright, now getting into some, not so much essentials, but definitely some treats. And I'm sure I'll be happy I ordered those halfway through this month. So, the first is the by Primal Palette. So I love getting their spice mixes. I have a few of their spice mixes already. Um, but this time I got the Garden Ranch Seasoning Mix. So I had ordered actually a ranch dressing from Primal Kitchen in the past. And it's just, it's it's very thin, so it doesn't really feel like ranch, and it doesn't taste that ra like ranch all that much either. Um, so I'm just very excited to try this. So this, you just kind of mix it in with sour cream. Now, I won't be doing a ton of dairy on this keto challenge, but again, this could be a nice treat. Get some organic sour cream, mix that in, and then cut up some vegetables and other uh, little snacks, and yeah, that could be a nice little treat. Next up, I got some Lily's Sunny Sweet style baking chips, so don't be uh, fooled by the Sunny Sweet. Uh, these are sweet but with stevia, so they are good for a keto diet. So um, let's see here for the nutrition facts. So for a serving size, it would be 30 chips. Uh, the total net carbs would be 3 grams. So again, not something I would be eating every single day, but this is definitely a treat if I want to make some like chocolate chip cookies or uh, maybe some type of fat bomb, these will be great. Okay, last we got some bars because we all know bars are friggin' amazing. Um, you're just, you can put them in your purse, you can put them anywhere in your car, you have them ready to go whenever you just need a snack. Um, or if you're just with other people and they're having, I don't know, your, your typical treats, chocolate and all that, you can just snack on your bar and you don't feel deprived. So I picked up a few options here. So. Perfect Keto is a brand that I'm familiar with. I grabbed some of their products in the past, um, but I had never tried the salted caramel bars. Anything that's salted caramel, I'm in. Um, so I'm very, very excited to try these. They have pretty good ingredients and yeah, keto approved. The second bars that I grabbed is by is Stoka Bar. Um, this is interesting. I was expecting a similar bar as this. The texture is like, Hard, like cracker hard, um, but by the ingredients, again, I was not expecting this, so I don't know what to expect with these, but I'm excited to try them. Uh, I got them in the vanilla almond flavor, so yeah, I'll have to let you guys know how these are. 
All right, guys, that is it for my haul. So again, these were all from Mature Market. Um, I really, really, really love this online shop. Uh, it used to be so much harder for me as a Canadian to get some of my hands on some of my favorite American brands. As much as I do shop local most of the time, like I shop at the farmer's market every week to get some fresh meat and vegetables, but this is really nice. Again, like things like avocado oil mayo or some macadamia nut milk or some curry sauce that's already pre-made. These, a lot of these are just convenience. Um, I could probably make some of this myself, but I don't have time to do all of that and I want to eat healthy so I don't mind um, supporting these awesome brands that are really trying to put some products out there that are a little bit healthier for us. And the really cool thing about Nature Market is that over $49 you get free shipping and if you use the link in my bio you'll also get $10 off your first order when you sign up. So yeah, super excited, go check it out. Let me know what are some of your favorites amongst these items and maybe products that I need to check out that I haven't tried from the share market yet. If you enjoyed this haul and would like to see more videos like this, definitely give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you'll know when I post more. And let me know in the comments below from what stores or from what like online platform you'd like me to order from and see how we can do a keto haul. Hope everyone has a great day and I will see you guys in the next video.